The San Bernardino community came together today to help the family of a three-year-old girl who was shot and killed outside of her home. CBS 2's Melissa Mainrich is live in San Bernardino where a car wash was held to raise money for that young victim's family. Melissa. And right now we are at the family's home. It was also the site of the shooting. And it's also a place where complete strangers have come to show their support for these innocent victims. I want to thank the Young Visionaries. Handing over a junk full of money is the best way these community members feel they can support the family who lost three-year-old Nyla Franco Torres in a tragic shooting. There's just a lot of good people out there. You know, you just can't let, you know, something bad, you know, and just look at everything being bad. It's just... You know, overwhelming. You know, it really is. Carlos! Carlos! Raised today at a car wash by a group called Young Visionaries, the cash is meant for Nyla's funeral expenses and piling up medical bills for pregnant mother LaDonna Howie and her three year old daughter Justine, who were also injured. The whole community is heartbroken. You know, it's like it's like she was she was our baby. You know what I mean? And so the whole community is, is heartbroken. On Monday night, police say 19 year old Brandon Barnes opened fire at the family's home in what they believe was intended as retaliation on someone who stepped in on a domestic dispute. Now, even if it happened once, it's too much, you know. But when it keeps happening over and over again, you know, it's just it's just way too much. The extended family says they're amazed by the kindness they've seen. It's overwhelming. It is over overwhelming we just it's just it's it's just so much it's pouring in from everywhere and it's just beautiful it's a beautiful thing I was just saying that without the community we wouldn't be able to get through this thank you so much and LaDonna Howie the pregnant mother who was injured is out of the hospital she is doing well her three-year-old daughter Justine is still in critical condition live in San Bernardino I'm Melissa Maynard CBS 2 News back to you okay Melissa thank you very much for that story some very generous neighbors out there